Hey, hi, good afternoon, Joy. How are you? Absolutely fine. What about you? I'm doing great, Joy. Thank you for your time and uh, agreeing to this uh, discussion. Joy, uh, just rewinding back uh, to your start of the coursework, right? Yeah. How the entire yeah. journey started? Would you like to take us through that? Yeah, sure, sure. So it was like I was in my uh, third year of bachelor's mm-hmm. and it was 2017. It was my summer break and everyone was uh, looking here and there for uh, internships, for training, which is required, mandatory also. And so they were all uh, seeking for that uh, internship, my friends. And I was also uh, hoping to get a decent one. So uh, like one day I'm scrolling for Instagram, I uh, come across the advertisement of the VPD, Virtual Product Development, the first package, I guess, of the Skill Link in 2017. And I, I thought that, well, if you are, if like for training also, we need to invest money because at that time we are not being paid. We need to pay it, uh, in spite of that. So if I'm paid paying uh, six to 7,000 to some other places, for example, MSME or other training institution, why not uh, like try out here? Because they are providing a, a variety of uh, courses in a single package. So I decided to uh, invest my money in a skill link and then I start then from that day onwards, my journey started uh, with skilling. I've completed the VPT uh, program. Uh, it took me around one year and uh, another two months to complete that program, uh, during which I uh, like I have I, I, I experienced a lot. I, I learned a lot. I, especially I learned about mm, uh, like whatever I was studying in my bachelor's was not enough. Uh, in the industrial domain or in the research domain so that i like i realized that uh, while doing the vpt i should uh, take the cfd master's course so in october 2019 i took the cfd master's course and i have completed two of the courses now i'm at the end of my master's thesis like in which there's a very uh, like crucial uh, c- contribution of a skilling that's great uh, and uh, thank you so much for that joy mandal and uh... yeah. Yeah, uh, you you have uh, you have done VPD and also you have uh, you are almost uh, completing CFD master's entire program, right? So, yeah. how is the course structure? Uh, do you feel and how is uh, your experience with the courses? So, in the virtual product uh, development program, the course was scheduled in four packages, and all those uh, four packages were different in each of their uh, sense. Like first one is an introduction to coding using MATLAB and second was uh, design using SOLIDWORKS and uh, flow simulation. Fourth one was multi-body dynamics and fifth one was structural mechanics. So I feel that each course is dedicated to a different subject of engineering, solely dedicated. Okay, and that's where I felt it is well structured because it it actually the each and every coach each individual course have a firm grasp gra- grasp over a particular subject it's not that a single course like inside a single course there are too many subjects for you to learn there is a single course for one particular domain of subject so that that's where i felt it's it's very well structured like for for math lab purpose it was entirely a coding uh, engineering coding rather for me, it was like mechanical, uh, mechanical phenomena. Uh, with uh, of it was like uh, coding the mechanical phenomena. Then the second one was uh, the solid works flow simulation. It was also fluid mechanics oriented computational fluid dynamics uh, uh, course. The third one was multi body dynamics, where you need where 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 I have learned about uh, contact force, frictional force, and uh, stuffs like that. Last one was structural mechanics, where I where I studied about strength of materials, machine design, and and, and things like that. Then coming to the CFD master's program, it was like a nice and well structured uh, master's program. Uh, when I when I realized after doing the VPD that I should go with CFD, it's like a step, a ladder type, in which uh, the bottommost ladder was the basic one. It was the introduction to CFD using MATLAB and OpenFOAM. Okay. Where, where fundamentals of fluid mechanics, fundamentals of computational fluid dynamics was first taught to us in, in details by Sarang sir. Then uh, they taught us how to use those fundamentals and with the help of coding, how to replicate physical phenomena and uh, complete your compute, uh, computational fluid dynamics basic course. After like developing some fundamentals, some basics of fluid mechanics, computational fluid dynamics, they have, they have created the second course, which is ANSYS fluid, uh, computational fluid dynamics using ANSYS fluid. They made us compatible with the GUI of the uh, software uh, where we uh, knew what settings 
tells what things and what are the settings which we are uh, able to uh, change manipulate each and every settings what are their meaning so that is what i have learned using the second course package i guess i believe it it is a 3 to 4 months added time which i get because i already knew the okay. things joy out of your coursework uh, you would have done a lot of projects right exactly yeah. and uh, uh, being a cfd uh, enthusiast hmm. you would have solid uh, you would have done solid projects with respect mm-hmm. to the industry relevance right so yeah, yeah. you like to take us through your project experiences yeah sure so uh, coming from the uh, perspective of first uh, like uh, in computational fluid dynamics i um, the like there are two projects prior to my uh, prior to my interest of de- interest of going for the masters program those two were first one is the uh, uh, matlab coding where i where i developed a matlab code for parsing the thermodynamic data nasa's thermodynamic data and using different calculations to uh, come up with a set of results as were given in the challenge yeah. so that in that in that single uh, i guess a uh, challenge i have spent a lot of time and i was very happy when i when i when i got the results what i was meant to uh, get so that has really like uh, uh, like interest me a lot in the matlab coding the second one was flow over a cylinder in solid works where uh, there was a challenge where i need to simulate a flow over a cylinder in solid works and you will be like surprised to know at that time i was studying fluid mechanics where i was studying the theory of flow over a cylinder when i uh, got the results and i can correlate with whatever i was uh, studying at that time so that project has helped me to like realize that i should study in this particular field more and more now coming to the cfd masters program in the first course introduction to cfd using matlab and opencom there are two projects which are like highly uh, like praised by me and I, i i myself feel that i have gained a lot from that one was the uh, uh, 2d uh, uh, heat conduction equation solving the 2d heat conduction equation using different iterative uh, solvers both in steady and transient state and second project was the supersonic uh, flow Uh, using McCormack method, okay. so in those two in those two projects, I have learned a lot in the theoretical sense. And after learning the theoretical sense from the J D Anderson's book, I have applied those concepts using MATLAB coding to obtain results which are like well uh, validated one. You have been supported by technical support engineers, right? Yeah. How was your experience with the the technical team uh, while your course journey with the Skillink? Uh, initially it was it used to be uh, i guess 2 uh, to 3 uh, days i guess 2 to 3 days a week back in 2017 at that time also the support session was very dedicated one dedicated one in the sense even if like while having a uh, uh, like a online session if uh, the support Uh, uh, support engineer is not being able to like uh, solve the or resolve the problem then they used to tell that yeah send an email to us and uh, like i have myself sent and sent in lots of emails and i used to get the reply within like 24 hours or max to max 48 hours okay. so it was like really helpful for me because uh, the problem which i am facing if it's not being resolved and if it is resolved within one or two days then it's like i feel it is very good because the problem still persists in my mind i used to think about it throughout the day and in within that time only i used to get the support via email or via a call so like yeah that was really good and i want to thank mr yokesh uh, who was my uh, support engineer for uh, the entire two uh, courses of uh, cft masters program and also uh, mr pritham who used to like uh, to clarify my doubts if yokesh is not being clipped with the uh, answer of whatever i am facing would you like to tell about uh, your interview experience like or your daily uh, if you are using the coursework in your daily like how mm-hmm. is the course uh, helping you yeah so uh, as of interview i have not like attended because i i i like after uh, qualifying for the gate i applied for the uh, masters uh, program and there if, if you get shortlisted you get admitted there is not an interview process but the the second uh, uh, question that you asked yeah that i have a definitely answer for that i have the answer for that uh, like after uh, uh, admitting to the cft masters program more precisely and uh having the habit of observe and reason uh 
my my daily life changed in such a sense that my my perspective of seeing a problem has totally changed means uh, if you if you think of joy four years back how he looks to how he 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 looks upon a problem and now how joy looks upon a problem it's totally different i i totally admit that it's totally different so that change in perspective is totally because of skilling and 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 how i realized that observing and reasoning is a very good method to inculcate for example like like i'm just sharing my daily uh, life things which okay. i feel it, i need to share is that like uh, whenever i'm making a tea okay and i'm i'm dipping a a spoon inside that tea okay so if i i i dip the spoon immediately with fast then there are vortices coming out from the curved edges of the spoon and if i dipping it very slowly then there are no vortices okay so like that's the kind of uh, like what can i say observation power that i am i have been developing okay and and immediately after that i am think oh yeah this is because of this thing and this thing which I I am well versed with fluid mechanics. Well versed in the sense, whatever I have learned, it's it's fine to uh, justify those phenomena. Okay, so these are the simple phenomena which I come across in daily life, and I am start observing right now and trying to reason them and also do a CFD analysis if like I feel like. So like uh, the my 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 vision of. Uh, approaching a problem has totally changed i don't uh, approach a problem as i used to approach 4 years back so that has definitely changed and that has playing a important role in my research work what i am doing right now it's because of skilling and how i felt that observing and reasoning things is a very good habit okay that 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 was a very nice uh, explanation about what you have learned and how you are applying it in your daily life yeah. thank you so much joy